Just try to stay between him and the basket, and they just want to wall up and understand that he's going to try to back down. Here comes Michael O'Connell racing up the floor and attacking the basket. Dennis Parker Jr. with a slam. Coach Keats said he's going to be special. I don't know if he meant he's going to be special here tonight. He's just out in transition, a good dump down pass. The first opportunity we've seen for NC State to take a little bit of defense and turn it into some offense. Back the other way, Tyron Lawrence already with six. Jordan Williams getting some quality minutes in this one in the absence of Manion. Tyron Taylor on the drive, it goes and one for Tyron Lawrence. Drew Stackhouse had his team playing well. Foul counted, DJ Burns and one. Came out with a strong start, another giveaway by Vandy. But then taken right back. And attacking, go to the basket, and the roll for Colin Smith. Controls. Lawrence down the lane. And the follow from Ben Allen Lubin, and Vandy is within two. DJ Burns, and the kick open in the corner, and a knockdown three, Dennis Parker Jr. It's so beautiful. The we'll pack again, Michael O'Connell finds Jaden Taylor, three. They can get going, and they can score in a hurry. Burns knocks it free. Loose. Here comes Dennis Parker Jr. for the slam. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Jawing at each other, and now we've got some pushing. We had double technical. Trail three. Jaqueline Roberts for Vandy. Michael O'Connell steals it, and a long outlet to Casey Morcell, who finishes for NC State. And Dennis Parker Jr. is just going to get more and more confident, right? And they're just more and more disruptive and more connected at the defensive end, creating turnovers. It's going to be fun to watch. And if you're Vandy, I think there, there are some bright spots even in the loss.